Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to either enable or disable memory compression on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So this is a newer feature that was introduced back in Windows 10 and has been continued into Windows 11. So it's turned on by default and the general design was used to compress infrequently accessed memory pages. So similar like a paging file that we're all, we should be familiar with of other versions of Windows. So basically that acts in the same way it reduces the number of reads and writes to the disk, which is the page file, and should theoretically improve responsiveness. You know, depending on your system specs, it may be good or bad, you know, depending on you know what your definition of good or bad is. On higher performance machines, it's more negligible, in my opinion, whether you have it on or off. On older computers or computers with less resources, like, you know, if it's an older computer running Windows 10 or Windows 11 with, say, 4 gigabytes of RAM, you may want to keep it enabled. But I'm going to show you guys how to either turn it on or off. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So if you want to see if it's just turned on in general, which it should be by default, all you have to do is open up Task Manager. So on Windows 11, you have to right-click on the Start button and then select Task Manager. On uh, Windows 10, you would right-click on a blank area of the taskbar, and you will select the Performance tab. And now you're going to go underneath Memory. So if you look down below, if it says Memory Compressed, it will tell you that it is compressing space in there for you. So that means it's currently being turned on. So if you want to disable Memory Compression, I'm going to show you guys how to do that first. You want to open up the Search menu, type in Terminal. Best match should say Terminal App. Go ahead and right-click on it and then run it as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select Yes. So I will have two commands in the description of the video. The first one's going to be disabling memory compression. So go ahead and copy that if you want to turn it off, of course. And then you just want to go ahead and paste it in. So I'm just going to Control V on my keyboard. So the Control V key combination just to paste it in. I'm going to hit Enter and give it a moment here. And it has been disabled at this point. And if you wanted to re-enable it, I'm going to have a second command. It's the same thing as the first one, except instead of saying disable, it's going to say enable. So go ahead and just type in enable and then hit enter. It's going to have a blinking cursor for a couple seconds and then you should be good to go. So we just turned it off and we also just turned it on. You're welcome to check the performance of your system over the span of a day or two and just see if it's better or worse. And then you can come back in here and make the changes necessary if you want to undo it. It's really not a big deal. So, you know, it shouldn't really harm anything, honestly, by either turning it on or off. You might notice a slight to marginal performance increase or decrease. So that's just what I want to put out there. But Pretty straightforward process, guys. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.